Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Noma Factory GTC EU Hard Mode. All right, so here we are today in episode 50. So last episode, I believe I had shown off the blast furnace, I had gotten it working and smelting. However, I did do quite a bit of work off camera between now and then. So let's get right to it. So first off, I added a wood vinegar distiller that I said I was going to do. The ABS automation. I'll show that to you in a second. I added a plate bender for shape plates, which, you know, I made, I complained about before earlier when I was trying to make molds for solidifiers and all that. And we also have a second vacuum freezer, right? So let's go over here and I'll show you what that all entails. Minus the plate bender, of course. So we have two vacuum freezers now. And then a second, uh, we, well, yes, we have two alloy blast smelters and a second vacuum freezer, which we knew about. I, I said that. Anyway, so why did I make a second one, you ask? Well, I couldn't think of a better way to handle this issue, but with certain fluids like molten canthal, for example, it has to be frozen in a vacuum freezer. Whereas I think Canthal. Uh, what was the, oh, let me just, let me just check recipe here. If I can get down here. Okay. Vibrant Alley, I guess is a good enough example. So with Vibrant Alley, that can be just sent into a solidifier and get the ingot. So I have, again, I have the ingot, the solidifier, ABS here, and then I have the alloy, but the ABS that's dedicated to a vacuum freezer over here, right? So down here, you can see I have, oh, that's the interface, our fluid interfaces. Where is the item? There we go. So yeah, over here, we have the tungsten steel ingot, titanium carbide, tantalum carbide, and nichrome, right? So when, th when that makes up the fluid, it's going to go right into the input hatch and that will get frozen up and it will eject it out through here. So that is going to be how I'm going to handle that because as far as I know, there's no way to say separate uh, a molten fluid versus a normal fluid. I don't think Enderio has that capability. And as far as I know, there's no, I don't think the fluid filter basically allows you to say, okay, Asterisk, or um, to, it's in the same vein that you had the item filter. There's no way you can do that with the fluid filter, where you would say like uh, asterisk or so we'd put all of a type of or into a chest, like with our ore processing unit. And then the distillery, yeah, that. Uh, where was the distillery? I think it's over here somewhere. I think it's this one. Now that's oil. Is it this one? Uh, where did I put it? Wait, is it one of these ones? No, it's the oil. Oh, wait. Ah, here we go. Wood vinegar. Well, <laughs> wood vinegar. Wood vinegar. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Right, so... That is making us quite a few fluids. The acetic acid, ethanol, methyl acetate, the acetone, and the methanol. So the acetone was what we were trying to get mainly. Um, why do we need acetone again? I need it for something. Electrolyzer. Right, let me just do it this way. Uh, we needed, we wanted to get the high octane, All right? So butane, butane, butene, butane, butene. What was the, wait, wood vinegar.
Uh, I guess the LCR. I didn't look at this recipe. Okay. That, that's where I needed it. Is the uh, naphtha, acetone, refiner gas, and methanol. And I did... I'm pretty sure I did add this... I did make this off-camera too. A reactor that will turn our natural gas into refinery gas. And if I check here... Sulfuric gas? Yeah, oh, did I not make that? Oh, I may not have made it yet, actually. I thought I did. Okay. So, regulator. Gonna need some interfaces. We need, there's one there. Uh, cable. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we're also gonna need that large chemical reactor. So, let's get that crafted up. And the great thing about our ABS automation now, I don't think this requires any of the metal. Well, actually, no, there's stainless steel. Did I add stainless steel? I think I did. Silver. No, that's not that. Uh, yeah, I think stainless steel is one of the... Yeah, there it is. So stainless steel and HLSA is in the, um, the non-molten... Did I name it Molten? Oh yeah, yeah. So you can see I, I, I specified that's the Molten ABS there. Okay, so that is good. Oh, I do that face. Okay, so there's our other interface. Now, what's our hydrogen supply like? Okay, so for this then, I'm not going to make it infinitely. So I'll, uh, you know what? Let's get a regulator H or a regulator MV. Actually, you know what? What's it going to cost to get a HV regulator? That's an HV uh, assembler. Do I have the other? Okay, that's in the HV assembler. Okay, that works. That doesn't need any fluid, right? No. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get that. I mean, it's probably overkill for what we're looking to do, but... Yeah, AE2 is being weird. It's not showing the craft status for whatever reason. I'm um, curious if... Solidifier. Is that stuck in the ABS right now? No, okay, it's it's burning. It is a minute time a minute long to burn, so oh, that is understandable, and I just dropped my hammer. Okay. So let's go back then to here. So hopefully when this finishes, it will update. Did I request that? It, I swear to God, I've requested it before. Okay, anyway. Uh, so with a large chemical reactor, I need to remind myself what exactly I needed for this. Not that. Uh, boop, boop. Okay, so we only need the one coil. I don't think the coils change much with the LCR, so we'll not worry about that. We do need PTPE, oh, PTFE, and PTFE, okay. PTFE, I think we just needed one of the casings and eight of the machine casings. 18, remember? All right, cool, so that's crafting up. And the rest is just hatches. So we'll probably do... I think it was um, MV that we needed, or uh, HV that we needed, right? Let me see, raw gas. HV, okay, so we need two MV hatches for this then. So let's just go with that. 
And we're gonna need... Where was it? Maintenance hatch? There we go. And I don't think we're gonna need item input unless it needs a circuit. Doesn't need a circuit. Does it need one? Yeah, it does. Okay. So then we'll do... Oh, that's already there. Nice. It's not outputting any items that we know of, so the rest can be casing. So I might need to request an extra casing or two. I'll just go like four, for example. Okay. Reactor. That's done. PTFE. There's that. Uh, hatch. That. We haven't had an issue with power lately, so that's a good thing. What is our supply like looking? Yeah, pretty good. Sulfuric acid is still up there, so that's nice. Don't have to worry about that for very for Don't need to worry about that very soon at all. And uh, that is okay, it's just being st stuck on prior recipes. Not a problem. Did I have the PTFE in there or no? Okay, there it is. Right. So, hatch Converter. Oh, I requested another two hatches already. And no big deal. It'll be used later. Okay, um... Should I pause for this, I wonder? There's the hatches. And the converter is still cooking. It's oh, it's waiting on the foils. That's what it is. I think we'll be fine. Wait for this. Okay, good. For a second there, I thought I had to go fix that. I think I need to remind myself to fix the Cooper nickel coil assembler. I think it's just a matter of stock of uh, fluid stock. And converter. Did I get did I grab it? Okay, I think I did. Uh I guess two of that. Okay, I guess we'll just go set some of this up. We still need to get their gas fixed or uh prepared. So yeah. I guess I'll put it right here. How big is this? Okay, it's a cube. So the corner here. Uh, I didn't grab. Didn't grab the other hatch I need. I'll get that in a second. So input bus. I also didn't grab the fluid buses. And I think we need to do a piping in the middle there. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we need the hatches and the hatches, yeah. Hatch. Boom. And I guess we'll do HV. Why not? It's funny that this takes cable. Because it's not really like, well, I mean, I guess you can argue that it's kind of electrical, mechanical. Oh yeah, the stainless steel. I might need to add another auto stalker now that we have the ABS. So that can just run on its own while I'm not there at the computer, at the game or whatever. Okay, um, might need to wait. It's gonna be a minute, so I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. So it turns out when I did request the HV regulator, it did make the one and also the second one that I had requested. So there is some bugginess going on, unfortunately. I'm pretty, I'm probably, I'm 
mostly sure it's 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 a uh, problem that's uh, I'm pretty sure they're aware of it. There we go. I can talk. Oh, God dang it. I forgot the... PTFE. Okay. Sorry about that. That goes there. Boom and boom. Hey, there we go. First try. And needs maintenance. What does it need? Mallet? Oh, it's probably on my bag somewhere. There. Fix that. Okay. There we go. So that is good to go. So let's get a controller, a emitter. I know I grabbed it. Okay. A interface. That's the output. That's the input. Okay. Regulator. Regulator. Bada boom. Okay. So gasoline. Raw gasoline. Let me just take a picture of this. If I can. So, methanol, refinery gas, and acetone. Keep exact. Oh, I need the filter in there first. There we go. Okay, so, nap. That's going to need all 16. Mm, met, uh, methanol. That's going to need. The Uno. Right, refinery gas. Refinery gas. That's going to need two. And I think the acetone was the other one. Yeah, okay. Acetone. And that's the Uno. All right, so that should work for like that. Boom, boom. Gasoline. All right. Now we still obviously need to hook up the cables and all that, but let's see. Methanol, acetone, nap, and methanol, acetone. Oh, and refinery. Acetone. Methanol. Naphtha. There we go. Oh my god, my eye is trolling me. Okay. Now, question is, do I go this way? Yeah, all right. So I need some conduits then. Conduit, nail them, and back we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh, there we go. I had the converter. Oh, come on. I forgot the cables. 16X, 16X, there we go. Oh, there's a question. Would energetic be easier to make now with the ABS? Yeah, probably, right? That's a solidifier. Yeah, okay, so I need to swap out the recipe for energetic alloy. I could probably remove it from the auto stock, I believe. That's where it is. Come on. There we go. Okay, so wrench, where are you? Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Okay. And I guess I'll put it here. Wrench. Like that. Okay. There we go. We have got power. Now we need connections. All right. That should be good to go now. Just need to hook up the cable. It's online.
Oh god, I'm stupid. We need multiple hatches. Right? Input hatch. Yeah, okay. Um, crap. All right, let me go ahead and fix this. I'll be right back. I'll get the extra hatches and I'll fix the regulators, the faces and all that. All right, back in a bit. All right, everybody, we are back. I have just about fixed this LCR now. Only thing that we are missing, however, is going to be the refinery gas, which had the reactor here. Um, I guess I could do a storage bus for this. No, I still need a bus for later. Let's just go ahead and get another face or two. And a tank. Where do you have the tank? Uh, I had the controller. I need a emitter. And let's see. So I have the reactor. I have some faces. I have a regulator. Do I have a medium voltage regulator? Doesn't look like it. But I guess I'll use the HV1 for this. Not a big deal. All right, so there's our interface. We still need one more for in and out. Now, with the gasoline, then, our only other impediment, or with the raw gasoline, no, oh, it's at the gasoline, and then, okay, we still have some things to do here. We have the ethyl turtle buter ether, which butane ethanol... And then octane, which is going to be a matter of, ooh, we're going to have to crack some other fuel here. Looks like it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, that's light fuel. That's hydro cracked. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to hydro crack. I guess it just comes down to which of these we want more. The naphtha over here I kind of like. And that's just going to be another oil cracking unit with uh, light fuel. Which means we're going to have to do more reacting. Okay, that's going to be fun. But, you know, this is all for the sake of power. Is that still working? Oh, there we go. Emitter. Okay, I think we have everything, but if not, I'll go back and grab whatever we need. All right, so... Where is a free spot? There we go. Oh, oh never mind, that was taken. Do I have any other free spots? Oh, here's one. All right. So. We're going to need the regulator. Import, keep exact. Filter. Okay. So, naphth. No. Uh, refinery gas. And. Hydrogen. And the refinery gas. Wait, what? Hold on. Binary gas. Okay. Sulfuric gas, 16 parts. Sulfuric gas. There we go. 16 parts. Two. Two parts hydrogen. Okay. And hydrogen. Okay, that's going. Let's silence that. And we need a controller. 
All right, so for this refinery gas, we want to make until we have, uh, let's say, 64 buckets. Oh, that's going to give us more sulfide, too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'll grab that. And we'll, oh, we got the refinery gas quest. We'll head on down to our storage room of fluids. I did, I had been upgrading the auto crafting towers recently. I put in 16K. Ah, that was the remnants of a diggy tunnel or diggy tower in uh, prior episodes. Okay, so that should be good to go there. Now the LCR should be cooking right now. Although it doesn't appear to be. Acetone. Refinery gas. Methanol. Did I... Forget something? Oh, I see what I did. There we go. And hammer, hammer, hammer. There we go. Right, so that is cooking right along. And there should be, yep, raw gasoline there. So let's get a, a tank. And another bus. And for the sake of it, I'll just request three of these. All right. So I'll probably end up putting the gasoline LCR for the video thumbnail. Look it. And this might take a little bit of time. So let's see, from here, where are we gonna be heading out? So I still, oh, I still need to get these quests handled, which honestly, I could just complete these Carbide. Okay. Uh, heavy plating. No, oh, double heavy plating. Double tungsten carbide. Okay. Let's get that rolling while we uh, wait for the other stuff. Now, is that using ingots? Okay, cool. So put that back in there, request that up. Oh, is that? No, okay, we're good. For a second, I thought we were gonna need a higher voltage. All right, so now the tier three miner is within our grasp. So this is gonna allow us to get a lot of things. Tetrahedrite, considerite, Tungstate, Sheetite, Redstone, Quartz, Vanadium, Magnetite, Ilmenite, Tin, or Sapphire, and Almondine, or Dense Magma Block. With the Gemstone Sensor, we get the uh, perfect gems, which I'm sure we're going to be needing a lot of those, and Silver and Gold. So, as you can see here, Dense Magma, basically free lava. Ooh, that is a, ch a super chest. Damn. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, what else? All the ores there, and the gems. Probably gonna be needing these in some capacity. Oh, right, the diamond latisse. We're gonna be needing a lot of that. Oh, and uh, looks like it's also used later on in some form. Okay, so let's get the bus. Should be done by now. We'll grab that out of there. Go back to home. I'm just gonna plop this down, head back to the LC, uh, the, yeah, the LCR. Damn it. Got the cable. Or I put it away, rather. Okay. Uh... Oh, I always forget there's that extra one there. Oh, well. Oh, gasoline. Boom, boom.
Alrighty. Let's go ahead and drop this over onto the LCR. Yeah, okay, I got room for it. I'll put that right there. All right, so that's the video thumbnail. Sweet. Okay, so next we just have to get another oil cracking unit. Yeah, I think we're going to want a separate oil cracking unit. Or, uh, let's see, high octane. Gasoline. Was it the octane that we needed? So that's a 10 to 1 ratio. Honestly, we could probably just do the single block distillery. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Uh, butane. Butane. Buta? to Dean wait what was I looking for I think it was methane methane oh butene oh. butene Oh, wait, okay, so we're, we're good there, right? Uh, in nitrous oxide, that's simple enough. Okay, so the octane and the ethyl buter ether, ether, whichever, are next on the list there. And otherwise, we're going we're gonna to have HOG very soon. And that will, well, actually, we're going to be needing HOG anyway, apparently, for draconium later on. Uh, we're not close to this yet, but we'll get there soon. In any case, uh, this episode is dragging on. I uh, <clears throat> That will be it for today. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. That's all for now.